Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see by the title, today's video is not going to be a makeup tutorial, but instead, I will be showing you guys my new vanity set. As you guys can see in the background, in just a minute, I'll basically just be going through like a run through of everything that I use or that I bought in order to make this vanity, and also all of the decorations and all of that that you also see in the background as well. So originally I was supposed to um, make a video or we'll do a video on my pears because this is a DIY project. This is a DIY project so I was originally going to do a video with uh, basically showing you guys how my parents, um, per, uh, how they built it or how they made it or whatever but I just chose to basically just show you guys like a collection like of everything that I used and then also just insert clips of them basically doing it if that makes any kind of, any kind of sense so I'll um, be detailed as possible make sure to show you guys a screenshot of the exact product that I purchased or anything like that exactly where I got it from exactly how much it cost and everything so if you guys are ready to see how I achieved this well, not how I achieved it, but the decorations, I decorated it myself, so I got to give myself some props. But if you guys want to see exactly how this came about, then stay tuned to this video. And also, another thing that I want to mention is that um, I'm going to have the camera angle right there, but I'm going to insert clips from my phone. I'm going to try to do that, insert clips in my phone for you guys, like the up close, like the up close version of it, so that you guys can actually see, like the... Uh, like exactly how everything looks. Okay, so I just decided to um, record on my phone just because my camera be, I don't know how to work that gym like that. But anyway, so I'm just going to head and start off with the actual vanity. So like I said in the introduction, I am going to be inserting clips of basically how my parents built certain parts of it. So that you guys won't just be like confused on exactly how I achieved or how they achieved this whole thing. So the first, first thing that I want to point out is that this vanity is called a floating vanity this is not your standard vanity that you see you know you no know, not regular people but like you know that's not your classic vanity this is a floating vanity which means that it does not have legs so basically what you would do is you just get like however many shelves that you want to do you can do two three four however many you want to do i just have two as you guys can see you can do one i've seen a lot of different ones that just have like one shelf which is taking the table but i wanted to use two because um let me turn it upside. I wanted to use two because I wanted the second one to be basically used for a storage space. So I got all of the products that I use for my vanity. I got everything from Home Depot. Well, as far as the shelves and the and the mirror, I got these from Home Depot out in Memphis. If you're if you're living in Memphis, then I got it from Germantown. So first, starting off with the tabletop. This let me point out this is that this is not a table. This is a shelf so you would have to go to like the walls and shelves like aisle or whatever and these shelves were ten dollars a piece so that was literally like the best thing ever like honestly because if i would have gotten like a regular table it would have been more because tables tend to be tend to be higher than chairs so i got two and i wanted to do black i was going to do white with the marble top but i feel like that was like played out so i wanted to do black instead and plus the furniture in my room like everything is like this like a part of my room is pretty much black so that's why i wanted to do black and then this already came black so i didn't have to worry about like painting it or nothing or spray painting it or covering it up with black paper or anything because it already came black one thing that i was a little nervous about with this vanity well with this um with these shelves that i feel like they were going to be a little bit too thin but now that i actually have it into play it actually is the perfect space i'm able to put like my decorations all of my different items and plus be able to have room to actually do my makeup so definitely recommend it they have different colors they also had gray they had white but like i said i wanted to do black so that's why i purchased black instead like and i'll I make sure to leave like a picture if I can find it on the website. I make sure to start a picture. If not, just be, I'll just 
pretty much just screenshot a picture of some black shell that you can use. I don't know the exact length of the shells, but we're going to figure out something to keep you guys up on game. Also, I make sure to to leave all of the products that I use in the description box below as well so that you guys will be able to just click on the link and then go straight to it. So that's with that. And then it's the second one. Like I said, it's used for storage space. The next um thing that I want to point out is my um chair. Yeah, I feel like this this video seemed a little ghetto because I'm recording my phone. And I don't usually record on my phone like that. But anyways, this chair, as you guys can see, it is like one of those um, director chairs. And I got this from Amazon for $58. They had three different inches. This was the tallest inch they had. They had one in 18 inch, which is like a regular chair size. They had 24 inch, which I think it was like, I forgot counter. No, yeah, counter height. And then the 30 inch, which is the bar height. And that's the one that I actually have. So I wanted to do a high one because I knew that the my shelves that I used for my vanity was going to be like pretty high. So I'm actually very happy that it's literally the exact like the exact height that I was hoping it would be. I didn't want it to be too high. I didn't want it to be too low. And it's actually very perfect. I also on Amazon, they have this chair in tons of different colors. They have them in like a hundred different colors. So I just decided to do black just because they didn't really have um the color that I was really hoping for, like pink and black or something. So I just ended up getting black. But the black one does have like gold hardware on it as well. I make sure to include like pictures and videos that I did record of my vanity when I first when it was first made because I'm pretty sure you guys can really see the actual detail of everything but that's just how it looks and it is not a um it's not adjustable but I mean who really needs it adjustable anyways and also let me show you more of the details of the chair as well so this is the arm part of the the, the foot part of the chair so clients models or you you can put your chair you can put your feet right there on a little stool i'm not going to put my feet in the um, camera because my feet are not done <laughs> but um yeah so you can basically just rest your feet on there or whatever i think it's perfect y'all and it's very minimalistic but it's very cute as well a regular chair length the one that was 18 inches that one was like 40 dollars, and then this one was 58 dollars. so definitely a good price and so that's how it looks and I'll make sure to screenshot and put in a clip of it. Oh my God, y'all, I feel so ghetto. And next item, well not item, but the next thing of my vanity is the um, actual mirror. So this mirror I got from Home Depot. I knew that Home Depot had mirrors like this because I saw them online and out, but you can't, you can't purchase, well, even if you can't purchase mirrors online, I'm not gonna purchase a mirror online and get it delivered to me because nine times out of 10 is gonna be broke anyway, so. Yeah, so I knew Home Depot had them online, and then also my sister actually works at a Home Depot out here in Memphis, so she was able to tell me that they actually sell them. But when I went to the one that she worked at, they had they didn't have the one that I was hoping to have, hoping for them to have. So I had to go to another one out in Germantown, and they actually had the exact one. I was going to get the original, the one that I was going to get originally was a little bit bigger than this one. But when I saw this one, it was perfect. And this one was $26.98. I made sure to leave the... um the exact brand of it and everything try to find the exact brand of it for you guys so that you guys will be able to see exactly which one that i got also the edges of it is like i don't know exactly what it's called but it's like bent if you guys can see like the little line kind of like a separation from the actual front of the mirror and like the side of it, that makes any kind of sense and i did not want the classic square mirror i specifically wanted the one that was more wider rather than longer well wider rather than tall so that's exactly what i ended up getting so I feel like I'm talking too fast. Let me know if this video is like a total fail because everybody was like, when I posted my pictures of my fantasy, everybody was like, oh my God, oh my God, where did you get it from? Or what was everything that you used and everything? So I feel like it was only right for me to make a video out of it. But I don't know if it's like a total fail now. <laughs> but anyway, so next is the lights. These lights I got from Amazon. I got this from Amazon and this is a 14 count. So that's why they're a little smaller than like the regular size. Because the more lights, the more the set that you get, like the more light that you get, the smaller they're going to be because they have to fit around the perimeter of the mirror. So this is how they look. And um, they're the classic white. Um, the thing about this, um, these light bulbs is that they are adjustable. So you're able to, you know, brighten up to the brightest that it goes. Also to the, to the darkest that it goes. So it is dimmable. That is the way that I was looking for. It is dimmable. And basically, um, the lights come with, I don't know if you yeah. I don't know if you guys can see for sure, for sure, but the lights come with um, a little stick, like a round sticker that you can basically insert to the back of the light bulb. And then you can just, um, and the sticker is thick, 
sticky on both sides so that you'll be able to um, put the sticky side on the mirror and also the sticky side on the light bulb as well. And that's how the light bulbs stick. Another thing a lot of people had questions about was exactly where did I get my lights from because they thought they were like ex exotic or something because you wasn't able to see the wires. I specifically did not want the wires like to be shown because I just feel like it's very tacky, very cheap looking. So what I did was I um got some tape, just like the regular tape, and I just taped the wires to the back of the mirror. I try not to, like I try my best to, to get none, none of it to show, but you still see some of it. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Yeah, like right there. You still see some of it uh, peeking out, but for the most part, none of it is showing. So that is perfect. And this is the 14 count, by the way. I have five going across, five at the bottom, and then four on the sides. And also, a lot of people had uh, questions on basically how the mirror was put up. The mirror um, came with like some screws and like these little clear things right here. I forgot, I don't exa exactly know how many it came with, but it came with these little clear things and some screws so that you can basically screw into the wall. So yes, the um, mirror is screwed to the wall. Also, I forgot to mention this, but the the um, the the shelves are also screwed to the wall. You have to get brackets in order for it to screw to the wall without falling or anything. I had to purchase four brackets. Now, originally, the brackets were white but i didn't want it to be white because i feel like it was going to mess up my whole overall aesthetic of my vanity so what i did was i spray painted uh them black i made sure to include a video because i did record the process of that so i changed them from white to black so that it can actually look good i don't know if you guys can't really see can't really see exactly and that's good because you're not supposed to see see them but yeah so that's what that Okay, so yeah, we're just going to pretend that this um, video isn't like a total fail. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking too much, y'all, but we're going to look past that. Just, you know, just kind of like keep going back if you need to. But anyway, so this is my favorite part because, yes, I did design it, well, decorate it myself. Most of these items that I have, I already, I already had some of which I've had for years, some of which I probably just got recently, and some of which I just actually bought for the for the vanity y'all oh my god <laughs> so anyways um we're gonna start with these canvas prints these canvas prints i got from canvas di canvas discount discount.com it is a website canvas discount.com and this is the first one beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself coco chanel the second one says um it's not it doesn't what it technically does say something but it's not like a a quote or anything it's just a picture of some books first one says fashion book i still don't know what the second one says. i think it's like a french word then the third one says makeup art the fourth one says the art of fashion and then they just have like a um a brush holder or like a glass wine or something oh i say glass wine oh my god wine glass with some um makeup brushes in there and then you have like a bottle of perfume and then you have some flowers and then the third one says i am black woman beautiful magic um, intelligent, resilient, love, innovative, powerful, influential, and unpro unapologetic. So I knew I wanted to get the canvas prints because I feel like, like, how can you have a beauty area and not have canvas prints? But I did not want the ones that everybody used. Like, everyone uses the classic heel and the classic, like, something like this. But I didn't want to get exactly what everyone else gets. So I just came up, I just um, got these pictures and these quotes and stuff from Pinterest. And I just basically um, went to canvasdiscount.com and I was able to make them into a canvas. Um, it was a sale going on right at the time that I purchased these. And so um, I got these for a total. The total was like almost $30. If yeah, It was almost $30 for all three of these. And the dimension of them is 8 by 10 or 10, no. Yeah, eight by ten. So I don't know why this one came out more like wider than these. Like these two are like long, but this one is like long. It's like wide rather than long. I don't know. Maybe it's because of like with like the picture. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but yeah. So that's how it looks. I didn't really get like the thickest frame or anything, but it's nothing really special, you know. And I didn't want anything too big because I knew that my mirror was gonna be like this. So I didn't want one that I didn't want the pictures to be like too long, you know, to where it's like all the way up to the ceiling because the ceiling is not far away from it. So I got the little small ones, you know, because I wasn't trying to spend that much money on some pictures and also 
just because I didn't really want the big ones as well. I tried to be as different as possible. And this male picture was like so cute to me because like I said, it's not like everyone else's typical canvas print picture for the beauty room or beauty area, but also because it incorporated like some fashion, like some fashion stuff, like the fashion book, and it also incorporates some makeup, which is my two favorite things in the world, makeup and fashion. So so yeah, so that's with that. I'll make sure to link down the website in the description box below because there are tons of websites that you can get canvas prints from. But at the time, I feel like because they had a sale going on and everything, I just feel like why not order from there? And the shipping was terrific. Even though this coronavirus stuff is going on, the shipping was excellent. Like it stuff, this stuff came in like less than a week. Yeah, I think it came in like six days. So that was real good. So I like that a lot. Next, I'm going to basically show you guys my actual decorations on my actual table. So like I said before, most of these items I already had like from years ago that I had on my first vanity that I had and some of them that I got for Christmas. Just like a lot of different things. So first we're going to start with my favorite part of my vanity, I feel like. And this is the, um, basically, this stuff right here I got from Shein. We're just going to say that. This, I want to be able to really show you guys like everything. Okay, so, because I'm really excited. I really feel proud of myself for putting this together. So this vase right here, don't mind my nails because, yeah. Um, these, um... This vase right here I got from Shein, and it was $2. Y'all know I love Shein. This was actually my first time buying, like, home decor from Shein, which I'm very ecstatic about. So I got this from Shein. It was $2. And the beads, the pearls that I got from inside, I got these from Amazon. You get a 360 count for $3.50. Um, one thing that I can say about these beads, though, is that I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger than what they are. So I thought that I would only need one pack because it's all I bought was one pack. But when I got them, they were very, very small, as you guys can see. So, yeah, I would definitely need probably, like, two more packs in order to fill them up because I did want them to be, like, halfway. I wanted the vase to be halfway filled up with them. So, as you guys can see, that's nowhere near halfway. So, yeah, I just pretend that it's halfway because, yeah. <laughs> and then next right here is these the very, very cute bamboo um, grass, like, bamboo grass. It is artificial. It is not real because I am not responsible. I'm just going to let y'all know that I am not responsible at all. So I definitely needed something that was artificial that I would have to worry about planting and, and growing and stuff like that. So I got these from Shein as well, by the way. And at first I was going to do like regular green plants and stuff because they have like a lot of greenery decoration and stuff on their website. But when I saw these, I thought it would be perfect because like if you guys didn't notice, like my overall theme of my vanity is like pink and I love pink. So I thought this was perfect. Um, These did not come together um this one came by itself and then this one came by itself and each one was five dollars so i think it was like ten dollars in all but because i used a discount code it was less than ten dollars so i think it was probably like eight something in all so it's perfect i made sure to leave a screenshot y'all already know that but i made sure to leave a screenshot on the um on the screen so that you guys can be able to see exactly what they're called so that you guys will be able to go purchase through some because they're beautiful you can use this for like living room decorations and stuff but i am extremely like extra so i wanted something like this and i'm so glad that i did get both of them instead of just one because i definitely would have felt like that i should have gotten the other i don't know if he's like really picking up on camera but this this color right here is like a pale pink it's not white it's pale pink next i have this um this other is like a branch just like the rest of them just like these but this is like a tree branch and it is a nightlight it looks so freaking good at night y'all i promise i'm not scared of the dark but when i saw these i was like this is so cute it is really so cute it's just it looks ugly right now oh my god it looks very ugly and don't mind me i'm not ashy this is just like some base i just got done doing my makeup <laughs> I'm going to chip y'all. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so I got this branch also from Shein as well. I'll let you guys know what wasn't from Shein and what was from Shein. But this one is from is from Shein. And um, this is how it looks. It looks very cute at night. I made sure to insert a video of how it looks at night. And it's um silver. The branches, uh, actual branches are silver. Ugh. Oh, my God. The actual branches are silver, but the actual light bulbs are gold. So it looks very good at night and I love that it's gold because it looks so good with like the lights and stuff. So that's real cute. Next things that I have on my vanity is these little storage um storage little things. I don't know exactly what it's called, but like storage 
storage spaces yeah storage spaces so first we're going to start off with these little small ones right here these are identical i ended up getting two of them instead of just one because not only do i do makeup on myself but i also do makeup on other people as well so i thought it was like only right for me to include like some storage space or whatever to put onto my vanity so there'll be easy access for when i am doing other people's makeup so basically these are like the things that you will see in amazon Except that they, I got a machine for like literally like only $3. So you can't beat it. But it is not glass, which I'm actually very, very happy about. Because if it was glass, it probably would have been broke by now. But this is made out of plastic. Which I feel like, you know, pretty reasonable. Because you're only paying $3 for it for any, anyways. This is how big it is. It's not the biggest. But I just plan on putting like some cotton swabs or like Q-tips or whatever you want to call it in here. So that, you know, when I need some for my clients for like lip, for their lips or something, I'll be able to just pick one out so as i just got done doing you can take the top off so that's the good thing about it you can take the top off and put it back on and it fits perfectly um another thing about it is that it has like this little slot right here so instead of you having to keep taking the top like taking it off and taking it putting it back on you can just get out and get it out like you can get whatever you have in here out of there so I mean, it's not the wide, so you can't really put everything in there, but you can put like a couple of sponges or you can put like some blotting paper in there or anything like that. So definitely recommend these. I really love these a lot. And like I said, I purchased two of them. So the other one would just be used for the same thing pretty much, but like different products. So um, I just got my lashes in there because I just took them off. So I didn't want them to pretty much like, I didn't want to lose them because like I said, I'm irresponsible. So yeah, so I think it's probably like my, my like lashes space for just like, just for me, not for my clients, but like, when I take out my lashes after doing a look or whatever, or after a long day, probably put them in there so that I'll know exactly where they're at. Yeah, you can just take it out. And then, yeah. So you can put like two pieces. You don't have to use these for a vanity, you know. I just feel like they'll be perfect. But you can use them for like kitchen, kitchen storage. And then the next item that I have, which is storage space, is also... Um, Pretty much like the same thing as these. And um, I got this I got this from Shein as well. This was five dollars on Shein. And um it's a two compartment storage space. And you're basically able to put something in the bottom and at the top as well. You're also able to take the top off and on, so which is good. I don't know if I can do it with me. Yeah, I can't do it, y'all, because hold on. Freaking irritating recording on your phone is, but yeah, so like I was saying, these um, this thing is a two compartment, so you're able to put something at the bottom and the top as well. The bottom is very pretty much interesting. You have like this little slot right here where you're able to, just like these, you're able to pick put the product in there actually and able to take it out as well. I love that it's two compartment. Oh my god, is it correct? If it is correct, it's my fault because I just dropped it earlier, but I don't think it's correct though. No, nah, it's not correct, but yeah, so. I plan on putting, I know I'm going to put like some cotton rounds down there because I use cotton rounds a lot for when I'm doing my makeup and I probably like put like a couple sponges at the top. I feel like it's pretty beneficial, you know, because it could have just been like a one compartment thing. Products look I got from Shein. So a total, these in total like $10, a little bit less because of the discount code. So I like these a lot. It's so irritating recording on your own with no help, like for real, for real. That's how I had it. So when I actually have, because I didn't put anything in here because I just... Um, got my fantasy like two days ago, so I wasn't able to put anything in other these yet. But when I do, it'll look a lot more. It'll be, you know, it'll look better. Next, I have right here my um a brush holder set. I got this when I set, but a brush holder. I got this brush holder like two and a half years ago, y'all. Let me show y'all close. This is how it looks. And basically, it's a two compartment, just like the other thing that I just got done showing y'all. So you have like a separation one cup right here and then one cup right here it's decided to basically make this my um dirty brush holder so basically any brushes that are dirty or that i'm currently using i'll put it right there because the other brush holders that i have are pretty much new so yeah so just because because this one is a little bit more older and stuff i'm like yeah i'm gonna just put these use this for like my dirty brushes so on um, wrist it's supposed to be like a rose gold like a rose gold pink color but like i said i've had it for so long so now it's more like brown and pink <laughs> but yeah it's really cute though it really is cute i got it from ross or store i actually got it in store which is not normal because i usually don't start shop in store but i got it from in a, in a store called ross and it was like two dollars at the time actually i think the price is still on here no it was 2.99 at the time so 
I've been loving it ever since I got it. It's be like my small brushes, like my eyeshadow brushes or just eye brushes. Then right here I have like my um, contour brushes, um, foundation brushes, concealer brushes, and everything like that. So this is how it looks. And it is like about, it's very wide too. So you're able to fit a lot of brushes in here, which I love a lot. Next, I got this little side right here. Y'all know I had to add me like some inspiration or whatever. Sometimes just look at it all the time because I just can't believe I got this vanity. <laughs> but anyway, so this right here is a um i don't know what it's called a sensor block <laughs> it looked like a center block but i don't know but i got this this is probably like the one of the oldest things that i've had out of like everything probably this and this i've had these two the longest but i got this about two and a half years ago it's two and a half years ago as well and i got it from a store called dirt cheap out here in memphis i'm not really sure if they have it anywhere else if they have that store anywhere else it was it wasn't three dollars it says it was three dollars but they always have like sales and stuff like this so i think it was probably like a dollar and something probably almost two dollars so it has two sides to it the first one with the first side with the you know the front side says do what you love and then the back says um be inspired so i occasionally like switch sides like for right now i'm going to keep it right here for probably about a couple months or whatever and then i'll turn it around to where it says be inspired do what you love and i love doing makeup so yeah i really do i really needed to incorporate this into my um, vanity areas i got this very 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 cute brush holder it is so cute probably the best brush holder i've ever seen is marble print which is like one of my favorite prints ever like in anything and basically it's very tall actually still like as well it's very very cute and very very tall which i like a lot and basically it says i, I may not be perfect but my makeup is because period got this in the 2018 christmas my grandma bought it for me for christmas and it was like literally the most perfect and um it's also glass as well so that's what makes it even more better it looks a lot more sleek and i just love it a lot you know as you guys can see it's very very cute and she got it from a store called five below the brushes that i have because i think i want to be a lot more specific with like my makeup collection or whatever so these brushes right here my grandma also bought me these brushes and it was like a 24 a 25 piece set so that's like the biggest brush set that i have out of all of my brushes so i just thought it would be perfect to put these brushes in here and plus it just looks so good with it like the brushes the brush hair have like a gradient from like white to like this dark blue gray or whatever so it has a mixture of like some face brushes which i actually haven't even used these brushes yet because i've been using these a lot so it has a mixture of like face brushes a kabuki brush a powder brush a fan brush and it also has like some eyeshadow brushes and concealer brushes and eyebrow brushes as well next probably has to be another one of my favorite things in my vanity i love 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 that i incorporated this into my vanity this is another brush holder set brush holder that i have and i got this from amazon like last year i think it was last year or maybe actually i don't think it was last year or was it last year no it wasn't last year it was like a year and a half ago when i got this from amazon so i'm pretty sure i can still like go find it for you guys and i'll make sure to leave it down in the description box but it's um in person it's like clear it's like well not clear it's cream and then it has like gold um like little abstract lines on it i don't know if it's picking up clear on camera but this is how it looks on both sides i love the gold on the side and it's literally perfect and it's a three compartment so what i chose to do is try to put because i have like I, like I said a lot of different brush sets so i wanted to organize the brush sets by like the brushes by the set like the collection or whatever so all of these are bh cosmetics brushes the first brush set that i have is the um um royal affair this is the royal affair brush collection the second one is the royal quartz collection which i've used one of these and then the third one i forgot exactly what collection this is but yeah so next the next item that i have for my vanity is also another item that i've had for a minute i got this for christmas 2018 christmas and i wanted a um a makeup organizer and this is what i got my, my mama actually bought it for me for christmas i don't know exactly where she like the the um website that she got it from but i'll make sure to like ask her or whatever and see if she remembers so i'll be able to leave it down in the description box below if you guys are interested Ooh, transparent rose gold like i guess it's like rose gold champagne pink <laughs> it's a lot of different colors to me but it's real cute though like the flash is on it so it may be like more orangey looking like peachy looking but without the flash in the reality it really is like um 
like pink, like a rose gold pink. But it has a lot of different slots, a lot of different compartments, and that's what I love about it the most. Starting off with the top. At the top, this is like specifically, specifically, <laughs> specifically, <laughs> specifically for like lipsticks and stuff. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to put right there yet. But I probably just plug my everyday lip products or something right there. I don't know. But I have like these little, um, like lotions and stuff. Like I'm not going to be really, really specific about that because it's not really the start of the show. But I got like a little edge control, which is my favorite edge control. E -B. So I thought it'd be pretty cute to add into like my little beauty area or whatnot. The next um slots I have these are two compartment slots and what I decided to do right here was put my sponge right here because I have accumulated a lot of sponges over the last few months so I didn't really know exactly where to put them at so what I just decided to do was like separate them into like these two compartments you're actually able to open it up I'm trying not to like make anything fall because I do have my phone in one hand so yeah, you're able to open it up as wide as you would like and also it comes with, I don't know if you guys can really see, but it comes with like this little black um, fabric or material, whatever, so that you don't, you're, none of your products will be sliding across, which I feel like is very important because it can be very irritating for your products to slide to the front as soon as you open it up. So that's what that. Sponges are right there. If you guys want to see a very detailed makeup collection video, let me know and I'll make sure to do that video. But this is just basically a tutorial of my vanity. You have one, two, three, four. You got four slots and all of these are like the same size and everything. So I just decided to put my small palettes right here. These are not all the palettes that I have. These are like the smaller palettes. So the palettes that could fit in there basically. So I have like two to three to four palettes in each slot. Right here I have two. And right here I have two more palettes. Um, Right here I have three palettes. Um, some BH Cosmetics palettes and different palettes like that. And then I have another one which has like two palettes in it. So yeah, these are my small palettes and stuff like that so this how this looks very very cute i don't really know exactly how much it costs or anything but like i said i try to be as descriptive as possible on the screen also in the description box below also another thing that i forgot to mention is you can actually take this off this top part off if you want to keep that on its own like by itself a lot of people like to do that you can just keep that like that but i feel like i'm missing something when i take it off so i just like to add it back on there uh oh see that's what i mean by me being clumsy okay so the second part of my floating vanity is well the second shelf like i said earlier i i am using for storage space because i feel like it'll be perfect so that i won't be able to i won't have to buy like a actual drawer or anything to put like on the side or anything you know just extra money spent for no reason so i just basically just spent an extra ten dollars to make storage space for my makeup i don't have a huge collection of makeup but i have a good amount for it right now so i'm just going to go through do a rundown of everything that i have right here are my bigger palettes i want to get on the floor so you guys can actually see right here are my bigger palettes the palettes that are not able to fit in this so i just have like overview got the anastasia and jakey on the collab palette which I just decided to keep this packaging because it's beautiful. It's pink and it's glitter and it's so freaking cute. And I think it looks so good with my vanity. And then, and plus Jackie Eyes, like literally my favorite person ever. Then I have like the um, Morphe and James Charles mini palette. And I just have like a few more palettes as well. Um, like I said, if y'all want to see a collection video, then I'll make sure to do that for you guys. Next, I have these little bins right here. I got these from Amazon. And I have a total of six. It all, they all came together, a set of six. And I forgot the exact brand. But like I said, once again, I made sure to leave it down in the description box below. If you guys are interested in purchasing these, I feel like they would be perfect for like the amount of makeup that I have right now. So first being, I have my um, bronzers, contours, and highlights. So I have like some single shadow highlights like this. And then I have like my contour palette, like the Black Radiance, Black Opal, um, Maybelline, nyx different stuff like that the next bin that i have is um use it's going to be used for like my tools like my makeup tools and stuff for example i have this like um this this brush cleaning mat so it's like you know be able to clean your brushes also i have like this little tweezer or like you can use it as a tweezer or to actually apply your lashes this is not earwax i promise it's not it's like glitter or something i don't even use it so i know it's not nothing nasty but yeah so 
I like, like I said, gotta rack up on my tools and stuff. I, these are be tools like makeup wipes. Um, I don't know if I probably end up like adding lashes in there as well. It's not a very big bin, so I'll have to see about that. Next bin that I have is for my lipsticks, or not lipsticks, but lip products in general. I am not very specific on everything because, like I said, I don't have a big, huge collection, and plus I don't have the biggest amount of space. So I just try to put like a generalization of all of the lip products that I have. This includes um matte lipsticks sticks lip glosses lip liners anything that is like in the lips category is in there i have some products from maybelline has some products for nyx bh cosmetics um l'oreal a lot of different lip products this probably has to be the most filled up i didn't even know i had this many lip products because i always use like the same one in every look so that's pretty pleasing i love that i um decided to like finally organize my makeup because sometimes i can forget exactly what i have and i'm able to actually see everything the next being is like eye accessories it's not eyeshadows but like eye accessories such as like well i mean who doesn't i'm gonna say who does because some people actually use real glue but like i use hair glue sometimes i use eyelash glue i just feel like it's pretty much gimmicky to me so yeah lash glue a mascara i got glitters the glitters that y'all see for me you know doing my glitter looks that's the glitter that i use i got glitters from shop miss a and glitters from amazon as well i got some um gel liner uh, my eyebrow products are in there i got this eyebrow tension kit i got some um eyeliner uh radiant eyeshadow uh disposable mascara ones for my clients everything all of the eye accessories everything except for eyeshadow products are in there so it's like a kind of like a miscellaneous um being but also like i said um products for the eyes then i also have like eyeshadow singles so this is not technically eyeshadow palette so i just got like little eyeshadow singles i got from nyx let me open it up this is like this cute shimmery bubblegum pink so it's real cute and then next being i have is um for my powders i have all of my different powders in here pressed powders loose powders setting powders um yeah powders like that i have most of my powders uh, is from maybelline because i love maybelline and they're very cheap <laughs> but yeah i have like like the shades of powders from maybelline i got a cover girl i got a um absolute new york shop is a a couple more brands in here as well i got some pressed powders like i said i'm still working on my makeup kit so as time you know as the days progress i'll definitely be upgrading with different products and you know just filling the bins up but for right now like i said the bins are perfect and then the last bin is used for my actual foundation and concealer i also have like cream contour in here as well but most not all but most of the brands most of the make most of the foundation and concealers is from maybelline well most of the foundation is from maybelline this is the one that i use 360 mocha that i always say in all of my videos just about the contour that i like to use is from black opal um i got some la pro concealer in here i actually got a maybelline superstay stick foundation which i actually haven't tried yet um, I got another, I know, I got another shade as well. I got this orange color correcting concealer from Shop Miss A that I used a couple times. This little cream contour stick from Shop Miss A that I haven't really used. And yeah, so this is just a man for all of my foundations and concealers. So that's with that. Moving on to the other section of my vanity of my storage space this right here is my sfx makeup i haven't done an sfx makeup look on camera on youtube for you guys but i'll be making sure to do that in the near future but i like to do sfx makeup xfx makeup from time to time so this is just like some of the products that i use for my sfx makeup i got um fake blood fake well not fake but liquid latex body, body paint and i got some more stuff as well i just didn't put up yet but yeah this is like my little category for sfx makeup but i got to continue to you know pretty much build it up because it's a little bit you know too far back but yeah this is like the main things the main products that i use for when i am doing scary or just yeah sfx makeup
The thing that I want to mention that I feel like is very important about the vanity is that the end, I want to um, unplug the vanity right quick, but this is the end of the vanity. This is how it looks. So sometimes um, some vanities, not vanities, I keep saying vanity, but lights, this is just the thing for the lights. The actual vanity don't have a plug. You don't have to plug the actual vanity up. It's the lights that this is this comes with. So sometimes you'll, you'll it'll come with like a little like a little box but this this specific brand does not it comes with the end of like a usb cord so you have to find a box like this or whatever you want to call it uh, whatever you call it you have to find one of these in order to plug it up and for it to actually work and light up so i just wanted to mention that and the cord is pretty long as well but i looked up and was able to get a room that had like the socket right beside where i wanted to put my vanity at so that was perfect so i don't have to worry about like having the extension cord or anything and then this is the button well it's not a button it's actually touch id so instead of you having to click a button you can just like hover over it or whatever and then you're able to turn the vanity on and off Let's see on and off just click it well, not click it but like rub your finger across it and it's able to turn it on or if you want to turn it off Another thing that I mentioned early on in the video as well is that the vanity is, um, the vanity, the light is dimmable. So if you long press it, if you long press it, then the lights will get brighter and brighter and brighter. Or if you long press it, it'll get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. So as you guys can see. So this is the, the, the lower portion of my vanity. I showed y'all this part. But this is the lower portion of my vanity. So you guys can see I still have extra room at the bottom. I can add another shelf down there, which I'll probably do in the future or whatever. Or I can just keep it like this and I'll still be able to put like makeup storage. I can give like a little small bin or like some small like little crates or something to put under there so that I'll be able to put extra makeup. I'm actually glad that it came out the exact way that I wanted it to. Like it's literally perfect, y'all. Like it's perfect. That was one of my dreams for this year not dreams but one of my goals this year is to get my dream vanity it's not the biggest compared to others but it's literally perfect for what i was going for at the moment because this is not a beauty room this is only this is my bedroom but i wanted to incorporate a beauty space so this is literally the perfect beauty space that any girl needs if you're into makeup you need this even if not into makeup even if it's just hair you can most definitely do something like this with like hair products everywhere. Um, like I told you guys before, like you guys already know, I don't just do makeup on myself. I also do makeup on my clients as well. So, um, when I do my clients makeup, this is be this will be where they will be sitting at. So I just feel like I wanted it to I wanted it to give a vibe that you were beautiful. You know that you're beautiful and that you feel glamorous, not just like a regular table and chair and lights in a mirror. I want it to decorate it to the fullest because I'm very extra and I want it to feel beautiful right along with looking beautiful as well i forget this how could i forget this one of my also one of my favorite things in my vanity as well is this little like little cute like inspirational it's not a quote but like it's a little inspirational saying it says oh you look amazing it may sound like a little cheesy to some people but i thought it was very very cute i thought it was something good to kind of like spice up my vanity because at first you know it was it was cute but when i added this on it, it's very very cute everything is cute about it even the the fonts of it i love that it. it's very minimalistic but it adds like a cute like little girly sand to it or whatever but this is how it looks i got it from shein as well i forgot to mention this earlier when i was talking about this product that i got from shein but i'm actually leaving down in the description box be love you guys i want to check it out shein has a lot Y'all know she for like their clothes and their shoes and like their handbags and stuff, but they definitely do have a lot of like home decor as well. This is my first time purchasing any kind of like decor from their from their website, and I was absolutely in love. Everything came out the way that I wanted it to be, so I definitely recommend it. Um, they have like a lot of different like mirror stickers as well. And they also have wall stickers, which I actually did a purchase a wall sticker when I do my bedroom to um when I do my bedroom tutorial or whatever you want to call it. I want to make sure to include the wall sticker in that video. I wanted to put it in the, like the top right. Yeah, I got it this <laughs> the top right of the mirror. I was originally going to put it at the bottom, but once I had put all of these things on here, like everything on here. I just felt like it was kind of going to be defeating the purpose of putting it at the bottom if you're not even going to be able to see it. So I love that, you know, that you'll be able to look at this when you're getting your makeup done because you're going to get slayed by me. Period. So, yeah, you look amazing. Okay, so I forgot to mention this towel right here. This this towel is from Shein as well. And I just thought it would be a cute, like, not only accessory, but something to add to the vanity because... 
Um, when I do my makeup, I can be very, very messy. And I am trying, going to be trying my best not to get any actual product on my actual vanity. So I have it on the, on the back of the chair now because I didn't use it yet. And I haven't did my makeup on my vanity yet. But when I start doing makeup on it, I'll be putting the towel on this part. So when I'm doing makeup, it won't actually get directly on the actual table. I don't know if it's coming up, the, coming out the exact color it's supposed to be. But in reality, it is a cream color. But I think on camera, it picks up. It's like white. It's um tassel decoration. So it has like these little tassel ends. More like tattered. It's not really giving me tassel end vibes. But more like tattered. But it's still very cute. Very cute. They come in like four or five other different colors. But I wanted to get this because everything else is pretty much like pink and stuff. You know, so I wanted to get this color because just to kind of like simplify things a little bit. And it has this cute like little decoration on it it was um two dollars as well so yeah once again i make sure to leave it down in the description box below i know some of y'all probably be on it messy stuff but <laughs> some of y'all probably be on some lurking stuff and i might be looking at my background but we just moved in the house not so long ago so i don't have my bed up yet so yes i don't have my bed up yet but i just i was like very very anxious to do my vanity so that's why I don't have my bed up yet in case you guys look at all in the background. So, yeah. But when I do get all of the rest of my furniture that I'm that I'm going to be getting for my bedroom, I make sure to do an updated um tutorial on everything and also just do a bedroom tutorial in general. Um, that doesn't include my vanity because clearly I am already doing a vanity tutorial for you guys um as we are speaking. So if you guys want to see more of my room as I, you know, continue to decorate it or whatnot, because you can't lie, I did a very good job decorating my vanity set. Just imagine when everything comes into play, like, whoop, yep. Yeah. <laughs> when everything comes into play, um, it looks so much more better. So, yeah, I love you guys. Make sure that you guys um turn on your post notifications so that you guys won't miss the upload because that'll be in the very near future. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Don't be watching my videos without subscribing to my channel. Comment what you guys think about my vanity because, I like I said, I was um asked by a lot of people to do a tutorial and stuff on how exactly I achieved this and everything like that. So, uh, if you like it, make sure to leave a like on this video. Um, comment and also subscribe to my channel. Just to end off, just to end off on a note, like I said in the um video, if you guys want to see um a video, like a video of my makeup collection, like going through all of my products and just explaining where I got everything from and how I like everything, um, let me know in the um the comment box below. Also, um, make sure to follow my Instagram, both of my Instagrams, at Faces by Course, which is where you will see uh, more details of my vanity for one. Also, makeup looks, you know, from me. I am posting this on my, well, actually, when you guys see this, it'll be posted the same day. If I, if I can post this, this video tomorrow, then y'all will be seeing it the same day. But if not, um, this, this look will be posted on my uh, faces by Corsha Instagram. I'll make sure to leave it down at the bottom of the screen. Also in the description box below. Make sure to go check out my recent post and also make sure you guys go follow me on there. Also go follow me on my other um Instagram beauty by Corsha underscore beauty by Corsha. I'll leave make sure to leave it down in the description box below. That is where I have all my fashion pictures. I have been uploading lately because of this coronavirus miss coronavirus miss but when this is all over and stuff I'll definitely be making sure to um post more content on there as well. Um and yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video.